Hey there Cryptids and welcome back to the Crypt Quiz. I'm your host Gregory Stone of Cars. Now uh, before we get into things on today's show, uh, I want to give a quick shout out to Stud Show Radio. I will leave a link in the description below to their YouTube channel. Please check it out. Their shows every Tuesday and every Thursday. Hosted by former UFC fighter Justin Buckholtz, obviously uh, part of uh, Team Half Male and uh, Sir Stud Boy. But uh, on today's quiz, uh, I took advantage of the Stud Show Radio where you can ring in and obviously get to speak to Tam Radio well, sorry, not Tam Radio, it was formerly called Tam Radio but you can speak to all the Team Alpha Male guys on Stud Show Radio and uh, I decided to take advantage of uh, uh, that part of the show where you can phone in and uh, the reason for that was because uh, if you know Andrea Touchfeely in most of his interviews he talks about pro wrestling, big pro wrestling fan so we started talking about it on the show and I figured uh, Sir Stud Boy is quite sarcastic, I was figuring Sir Stud Boy would say, shut up Feely, let's not talk about fake wrestling, and let's talk about real fighting, but he never did, Sir Stud Boy was actually uh, uh, quite knowledgeable on the wrestling, and there was having a good crack watching videos, taking the piss, having a good laugh by Ric Flair, etc, so I figured, damn, this is the perfect opportunity, I've always wanted Sir Stud Boy on the quiz, because Sir Stud Boy likes the listeners to ring in and uh, throw some trivia his way, and he's pretty good at it too, him and Buckles, they get a lot of uh, questions right, so I figured, damn, uh, I've always wanted uh, Sir Stud Boy in the quiz, so I figured, right, this makes absolute sense. So I'm going to ring up now, we'll do a quick five question pro wrestling quiz. Hopefully, they don't kick me off the show at some point, but uh, they never did, and uh, that's the turn to be a good quiz. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into it, guys. Sir Stud Boy versus Andre Touchy Feely. And just a little side note here, guys, there will be a video at the end, uh, skipping out for that. Uh, I won't say the reason why, you'll find out at the end. Is this Hammer Fist McNeely? It is Stud Boy. <laughs> How's it going, dude? What's up, man? Uh, not too much. Uh, how's it going there, Feely? How's it going, man? How you doing, brother? How's it okay? It's got a bit of a cold, that's all, but I'm all right apart from that. Uh, I noticed that you guys were talking about pro wrestling before. Uh, you seem to know a lot about pro wrestling. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, but I used to do an MMA quick quiz uh, where I asked both guys some questions, and obviously you get some most points with the quiz. Uh, I wondered if you two guys fancied doing a little five-question pro wrestling quiz right now. Five questions? I ain't no bitch. I'll, I'll do a five question quiz. I'll right do. Now. I'll do anything for Hammerfist McNeely. <laughs> <laughs> where, are you well, call, where are you calling from? What do you mean anything though, stuff boy? Let, let's not get uh, too carried away here. <laughs> really asked you a question. Hey, where, are you, where are you? Uh, where are you calling from? Uh, the United Kingdom, uh, England. You know a guy? You know a chap down there named uh, Andy Ogle? Andy Ogle? Yeah, I do. He's uh, he's in the northeast. Uh, I think it's Newcastle, so I believe. I'm from the northwest in Manchester. I love, I love that son of a bitch. Yep. Love him with all my heart. Shout he out to you. Right, you're going to give us a little game? Yeah, yeah, just uh, quick fire questions, mainly from the Attitude Era. Uh, I'm not too sure if you're, you know, very good on the Attitude Era. But um, roughly between 97 to 2000. All right, I'm good at those years. Uh, you can both give the same answer if you choose. So, and, you know, if you want to copy and play it safe, or you want to take a chance with his answer in second. To maybe pip your opponent. Alright, all right, it's a game. Let's go. We got it. <laughs> okay, now to decide who goes first, we're gonna have to do rock paper scissors. Do you want to do rock paper scissors between you both? Uh, he could go first. I'll he can go first. Okay. Age go. before beauty. That's what I say. <laughs> okay, then question one. Uh, this one's about Dan the Beast Severin. You can remember his time in the WWF. Uh, I think it was around the time Ken Shamrock went there. But uh, other than these UFC titles, because he used to wear his UFC titles that he won down to the ring. What other belt? Did Dan the B7 wear down to the ring? This is quite a tough one to start things off. What, so my apologies other, there, guys. What, and it's, a, it's like a championship belt? Yeah, it's a championship belt. I'll give you a clue. It's a pro wrestling belt. Another pro wrestling belt. Uh, so he used to wear three UFC titles and another pro wrestling belt. Was it... Um, was it... Uh, was it a Japanese one? Like All Pro Japan? Or, or was it... Or all, what is it? What's the Japanese... What's the big Japanese one called? Shit. Uh, this is a fucking hard one, too. I thought you were going to eat softball. Meat. Was it an intercontinental belt? Is that uh, your official answer to this stuff, boy? That's my official uh, answer. And I'm going to say, uh, no, and he wasn't in NWA. I'm going to say a Japanese promotion. I don't know what the name is. I'm trying to remember my WCW video game. Uh, I think there's New Japan. Uh, one Japan. New Japan. That was the one. Yeah, I guess that's the one. Uh, yeah. It wasn't New Japan. It was actually the old TNA title, the NWA World Heavyweight title. I almost said NWA yeah. too, and I didn't think he was in NWA. Son of a bitch. All right, that 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 I was. I should have a... got. I really should have got. Like, I'm honestly a little butthurt at myself because I thought I was. I, I almost went NWA. I mean, by, by the way, uh, he 
he might be one of the worst WWF stars of all time. Yeah, but I should have known this NWA, and I had this gut feeling NWA, but I went in Japanese because I really fought in Pride too, and that looks stupid. Maybe it was number two. I'm, I'm all right, let's go, let's go. Number two. two. Do you even know how long he lasted? He didn't last long in the WWF, from what I recall. No, he was terrible. He would uh, walk down to the ring, and, I mean, no, Shamrock did this, too, where he would just start screaming, like, right out, and it was real awkward, and, like, yeah. just start going, rah, rah, and, people, and everybody, like, what are you screaming about? And everybody would just stare at him, and, like, no one would, like, have zero reason. That's why I farted. <laughs> Like Between there was Dan Severn with three fucking guns screaming on the way to the game. Yeah, like, just scream, go, rah! I'm the beast. You go, ah! Like it was crazy or something, yeah, dude, and and no dude. one like would. There was zero reaction, and there, and I just remember like, why is he screaming? What are you screaming What's about? He, like your thing. What are you doing? I mean, you got fucking Degeneration X like spinning out gold. Cross chopping. Yeah, and, and then, then yeah, gold. Then you got a fucking guy. So scream. Yeah, I was like, all right. Speedo. I'm gonna. I got it. I got it, guys. I'm gonna scream this time. Watch yeah. out. They're gonna go nuts. Well, there's there's always been this big debate. <laughs> yeah. it, it was, it, Black, do you know this? That you know, um, uh, Dennis Bermudez uh, started his MMA career with Steve Blackwell. Or, yeah, that's true. There's quite yeah. a few. Did you Blackman know? With the yes, he. Oh, that you should talk to him. Find out. Holy find that out. He's, his MMA career was started by Dude. Steve Blackman. But go ahead, Hammerfist. Go ahead, man. Hey, so before we move on to question two, quick opinions on this, guys. Just one quick answer. Uh, Ken Shamrock. Do you think he shows up to fight Kimball Slice, and do you think he wins? Yeah, he'll show. Oh, he needs money, dude. That guy's fucking. <laughs> I wish I could. I mean, I, I mean, yeah. I hope they, I, I wish I had I mean, I, 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 I don't think Ken Shamrock's too far <laughs> away from just. He's, 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 I mean, I, I wish I could give a shit about <laughs> yeah. that, dude. Like, uh, I hope they double knock each other out. I hope it's a brutal double knock. I mean, never hear from either one of them ever. I think Shamrock is like, have you ever seen Beyond the Mat? Yeah. You ever see that documentary with, with Jake the Snake Roberts oh, in there? Yeah. I, I yeah. don't think Cam Shamrock Cam is like far behind, a, a couple bad weekends in Vegas, and he's he's that he guy, is, man. Yeah. But go ahead. Well, uh, yeah, no one cares about those two. You see there's this documentary on Netflix Fight, called Dog Fight. It's so and, terrible. And I wanted to fucking cut my ears off it like, the whole time. Dude, it, it was so ridiculous. So bad. It yeah. was just like, uh, my buddy Judd told me about it. I had to watch right. it. It's the only way, this is the only way we can get out. Like, no, just go sign up for a gladiator challenge. Dude, it's so... You fight in a cage, make twice the money. It's the most, it's the most terrible thing. It's the most, th like, obnoxious. Yeah. Like, I don't know who they're trying to fool with that, but... Is, it, is, that, is that centered around Kimball Slice? What's that? That, that documentary. Is it, is it about Kimball Slice? Uh, it's about this guy named Data 5000 who used to be Kimball Slice's bodyguard. And, and oh. everyone... Everyone on the day, everyone. It's a really well shot documentary. But everyone they're shooting seems to be a hundred percent full of shit. It's, it's ridiculous. ridiculous. Up to their ears. It's stuff. absolutely ridiculous. It's ridiculous. All right, okay. Questions? Yeah, let's move on to question two anyway. So the the scores are zero zero. Each uh, correct correct answer is worth one point. All right, let's go. Okay. We got five more questions. <laughs> Four more questions. Which wrestler paralyzed Darren Drozdov back in nineteen ninety nine? Oh, he was. That was when he was. What wrestler him. paralyzed him? Yeah, he botched a pair of bombs, so I believe. You know, uh, what was his name? Puke or? Yeah, that was yeah. when he had just done. He All just... right, you want you want an even more trivia question? Sure. Go on. What's his name? Drysdorf, right? Drysdorf, yeah, Drysdorf. Yeah. He had just started doing the puke game. What puke high school did Drysdorf go to? Same one as said boy. Wow. Dude, high school. There, there's no way I'm getting that one. It's Oakcrest High School. Google that, bitch. <laughs> You got me, stuff, boy. You got me. And that, they're actually in our same school district. He went there, and I like we all knew who he like knew who he was when he was getting there, and they got like paralyzed yeah. and stuff. Uh, I don't know. Was it um who who? I, I have no idea who who paralyzed him. Owen Hart. No. <laughs> I think he was dead by the time. Yeah. Was Owen, he? Owen Hart died. By he then. was already uh, dead. I don't know. It was a big guy, right? It was a bigger guy. Give me a second. I'm gonna get this. I'll give you a clue. He's never wrestled ever since. I don't know. Was the it blue, like blue meanie, meanie or something? Like that? The blue meanie. God, the blue meanie. All right, go ahead. We we both did. We, we don't get it. So no answer from both. No one's taking no, a guess. No answer. No, and when he said, "I'm really pissed." It was uh Darren. It was uh D'Lo Brown who paralyzed Darren Drozdov. It was D'Lo Brown. D'Lo Brown. Yeah. Brown. Dude, I love D'Lo Brown. D'Lo Brown used his badass kick where he just go. 
Hey, Dio Brown used to run and he fucking do his kicks up. Like I'm dealing, your guy is doing it. He ran, he run and he jumped sideways and he put one foot up and then he kick you over that foot. Yeah. And I remember thinking that's such a badass fucking move and I've never seen anybody else do it. It was so. And I, I love Dio Brown. Dio Brown would do that. He'd run and he'd bounce off the turnbuckle and he like he fucking bounce the turnbuckle from running at you and then he'd jump at you this way and then he'd kick you over that foot with this back leg. And That's I remember badass. Thinking it was such a badass kick. Dude, D'Lo Brown used to go and he used to talk a lot of shit and he was good at it. Yeah. And he would go on the top turnbuckle and then he'll go put both hands out and go and do yes. the flags and go, Dio Brown! Yes. And he does the flags. Yeah. Right. All right, next question. It's, Hammer. it's like, who would want to take that frog splash from him with that chest protector on? He's only big <laughs> as it is. You get, you get some uh, you get some air speed going and with that chest protector, whoa. I won't like to uh, sell that one for him anyway. Uh, all right. Keep going. <laughs> Next question. All right, question three, guys. Uh, who did Booker T, speaking of Harlem Heat before, defeat in the final episode of Monday Nitro to claim the WCW World Heavyweight title? Diamond Dallas Page. Was that you, still, boy? That's me. Okay. What title was it for? Uh, the World Heavyweight title, WCW. Jeff Jarrett gone at that time. DDP, Point Pleasant, New Jersey. Um, who did he beat? Son of a bitch. Honestly, you're really breaking my wrestling. Oh, I just got, who cares? This, 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 this game's terrible. Oh, hey, hey don't blame me because you're both sucking it. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst. Like, this is like, the most obscure. Come on, any any re- any wrestling fan knows this one. It's uh, yeah, Scott yeah. Steiner, Big Papa Pump. I just found the fucking DL one, too. This is sad. Uh, I'm just gonna say fucking. Uh, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say nah, I'm gonna say Jeff Jarrett. It's not Jeff Jarrett. I know it's not. All right, who was it? It was Scott Steiner, Big Papa Pump. All right. This motherfucker got it right. All right. All right. <laughs> hey, that's one point. All right for the tech guys. Jamie Jones got one point. <laughs> Jamie Jones is one point ahead of all of us. All right, what else you got? Is this last question? Two more questions, guys. I'll make them uh, snappy. Okay, right, let's go. Question four: What WrestleMania did Ken Shamrock? Referee, Bret Hart versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. So which WrestleMania did he referee at? Honestly, the only – I'm not going to one either. The only thing I remember about Ken Shamrock is one time he had this, this match where he was in a straight jacket and he hit like a reverse triangle on someone. I'd never seen anyone hit any form of triangle, and I thought it was the coolest fucking thing I'd ever seen. He was in a straight jacket and he hit like a triangle. Like a, the guy was sitting on his butt and he jumped over him. Sixteen. Sixteen. That's uh, that's a little out there stuff, boy. What, the, what, what, are we, what are we at? Like thirty something now, or fifty or something? What, 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 no, no, no. WrestleMania three was the first WrestleMania. Okay. WrestleMania what? Three. Oh, 83, <laughs> 83, not, 83, yeah, 83 was the first year. Okay, so what? Okay, so if it was two thousand three, would have been twenty. So I figured sixteen. You put about nineteen ninety nine or so. Um, all right, I'll go fifteen just for shit. Uh, I'll go eighteen. I'll go eighteen. Go on eighteen. And 16. It was actually a lot le- lot earlier than that. It was uh, WrestleMania 13. 13. 13. 13. I just 13. got it. No, no. <laughs> I said 13. You said it like a split second before I did. Exactly. I you just proved positive. <laughs> oh, I got it right. <laughs> I right. got it right, boy. I'm winning. Next question. <laughs> All right. If it's a draw, then we'll give you that one then, stuff boy, okay? All right. Okay, the fifth and final question. Which indie pro wrestler contracted Hepatitis C from Abdullah the Butcher? This one's a really tough one. Indie pro wrestling. Terry Funk? That's a t- What's that? That was a good guess there, Stub Boy. Very good guess. Oh, I mean, he's the only indie wrestler I fucking know. I know a few Him or, uh, um, what's that, New Jack? Yeah, he's a crazy guy. Dude, New Jack's a fucking psycho. There was a thing where he was talking about <laughs> ECW days, and he was saying, uh,. Uh, he was saying, he was like, yeah, some new kid came in. Um, uh, some new kid came in. He's like, yeah, he thought he was the shit. He's like, I want to show some color, man. I want to go out there and, and I want to bleed a little bit. And he's like, oh, all right, I'll let you bleed a little bit. Pull out a box cutter, slash his fucking eyebrow wide yeah, open. Yeah, he, he cut off fucker open. His, his, he, his mom was in the front row. He, he ran out He ran out of the ring crying and shit or something like that. <laughs> he, he, he tried killing that fucking guy, didn't he? Because he botched the move where they both fell off the... I think it was off the top of some stage Dude, or something. Yeah. So he threw him onto one of those fucking tables, nearly damn near killed him. Those, right. those all these CW dudes are no fucking jokes. Yeah, some crazy right, shit. What? Uh, 
So an uh, indie wrestler, which one? Who contracted hepatitis C from Abdullah the Butcher? Is that uh, Billy Jack? <laughs> I don't have a fucking clue who that is. Is that even a real wrestler? Billy Jack, bitch. Who's Billy Jack? It's some guy with some green outfit that got Hep C. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who are you going with, Feely? I'm gonna go Bayside Bruiser. Is that is that a real? <laughs> Who's that guy? Is that is that a real name? I'm gonna go Necro Butcher. I'm gonna go Necro I'm Butcher. I'm gonna <laughs> Devin Necro. <laughs> I'm gonna go Loki. Loki from when he won the fucking uh, won the, the Ring of Honor uh, World Title or something. I don't know. Who fucking knows? No, it was it was actually a, a guy named Hannibal. He actually got a contract with the WWE, but uh, they got rid of him after he contracted hepatitis C. Yeah, his real name is uh, Devin Nicholson, dope. Yeah, he's yeah. See, so you know the character. I got it right. Jeez. You, you got it right. You need to put some fluoride fluoride in that water over there. I don't know what you guys are drinking. What you said. Fucking... I was lo- I was looking for his wrestling name. So you got you give me his real name there. Yeah, come on, dude. I, what do we live in a fantasy world? I know, I know real names, brah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. Stuff by steals at the end, giving the real name. Yeah, that, was, that was honestly pretty tough. I was really hoping there was going to be. I uh, mean, like, you should ask me who fucking, uh, um, who who won both, t- uh, who beat the Ultimate Warrior and and you wrestling many a six or something. Well, let, let's be honest here, stuff boy. You did tell me Terry Funk at the beginning, so I could have gone with that. Terry Funk is one of my favorite wrestlers. <laughs> have you seen the video of uh, the It's Still Real to Me? You had to have seen that, right? Uh, I don't know. Which, what Dude, it? go on YouTube, please, right now, and type in It's Still Real to Me, damn it. All right, we'll put it on. We have to wait. Uh, see, we should have done a fucking forfeit. I was going to ask if you wanted to do a forfeit between you both, but uh, we didn't get ready to do one. Stop by, you could have uh, demanded Andre Philly to do something for you, but uh, not to be. You can come up with something if you like. Is there going to be a forfeit to this? It's yeah, it's a forfeit. <laughs> I, I think. What are you volunteering me for, pal? <laughs> I think uh, I. I'm not. Not only did me and Philly not. lost, I did Not only did me and Philly lose, but all the fans lost also I, in this I, one. I'm gonna lose tonight in the stands. Uh, all the listeners at home that had to endure that terrible like, game. Like, dude, there's probably so many people at home that like, I don't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> okay. I'm. Uh, I'm. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm sorry, Stud like, Show listeners. Somewhere there's, somewhere there's like some <laughs> girl who listens to the show for the last and goes, she's just pulling her like, I don't give a fuck about Attitude Era of Injuries. <laughs> like, like, she's like, I'm never listening to this fucking show again. It's just a nerd fest. Well, let's have a look. We, no, yeah, I'll tell you the truth now. When I first started watching, say, there was 39 watchers. Now there's 41. So I've added two to your show. There you go. Oh, thanks. All right, there you well, go. Thanks. <laughs> Good. All right, guys. A fucking troglodytes. Yeah. Well, thanks for taking That's... part anyway, boys. Hey, thank you, brother. <laughs> All right, balloon not nah, this fucking. Okay, this is the video at the end here. Uh, congratulations to the sister boy on that cracking victory. A uh, little sarcasm in my voice there, and uh, the reason for that is because I watched the video back. Yes, I watched the video back when I was actually doing the quiz show. I uh, obviously didn't see what was going on because I paused it because there's a delay. I didn't want two sets of audio coming through. So I was just concentrating on the audio call. But when I watched it back, I noticed that Sir Stuff Boy was blatantly cheating. Even the technician guy, the uh, the station guy, he was uh, having a little coercion. Stuff Boy was looking over. He was, uh, the, the station guy was actually feeding Stuff Boy answers. So the question four where Stuff Boy said WrestleMania 13, the one that I didn't accept, that was from the station guy. And uh, Sir Stop Boy got the David Nicholson, the guy who contracted Hepatitis C, got a question from the station guy, which I cannot accept. Uh, so therefore, Sir Stop Boy, I'm going to congratulate you on. I'm going to congratulate you on something else here, and that is that you are the first guy to ever be disqualified on the American Quiz. So you broke a record, there, Sir Stop Boy. So congratulations on becoming the first person to ever be disqualified on the quiz. Uh, Feely, I was close to him disqualifying you because you was on your phone on the deal or brand question, but you never got the answer from there. But if you did, it would have been a double disqualifications. But uh, Andre Feely, uh, congratulations on the victory. Uh, I hope all you cryptos enjoyed it. It was a pretty entertaining quiz, if I may say so myself. Uh, I expected a pretty funny quiz with Sir Stub Boy, and I think it lived up to that billing. Uh, He's a tough one, Sir Stuff Boy, because he's, uh, he's so sarcastic. You have to be on the ready. He, he tries disrupting your rhythm and uh, 
pushing you along and just trying to unsettle you. So uh, yeah, he always he always gives me a rough time on there, but uh, I managed to get through and get the quiz done. But uh, a good quiz. Uh, Stop by. I would like to get you on again against uh, Justin Buckles. Obviously, you both like people to ring in and get some trivia. Hopefully, I can get an MMA quiz between you two. That'd be great if we could get that on. Uh, maybe I'll keep it to five questions, but maybe in like a month's time. I don't want to keep boring your listeners with quizzes, but. Uh, you know, obviously your show ranges from an hour to two hours to two and a half hours sometimes. So if you want to fit me on at the end, uh, hopefully we could pull that together. Uh, but a ten minute quiz at the end of one of your shows in a month or two or something. But uh, Andre Feely, I know it's that you're a pro, big pro wrestling fan. You always talk about it in your interviews, etc. Uh, and I know that a lot of the pro wrestling athletes there, MMA fans. So I was hoping to do a five question well, 10 question quiz, 5 questions you answer about pro wrestling, and I was hoping to bring a pro wrestler on to face you, and he answers 5 MMA questions. So, I was hoping to put that together. I don't know if that interests you, but uh, X-Pac, he's from the Attitude area, he's a big fan of the of the show, and make fighting talk show, he's been on here before, so hopefully I can maybe bring him on, or maybe somebody else for his face, uh, if that interests you, Feely. Uh, obviously, nothing's set in concrete, I've no opponent for you, but if you want to tell me a couple of the old favourites who you liked, maybe Steve Blackman, you talked about him, he's in, he's Banging to a man, that'd be perfect. I love you versus Steve Blackman. Okay. X Pac is a big MMA fan too. So uh, there's lots of uh, ideas we could throw out there. You could face and uh, maybe even change up the rules. Maybe not five questions each, but uh, there's lots to work with. But in terms of today's show, congratulations, Ophelia. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a great win because you picked some no points, but uh, obviously it's tough when you got questions funny there and then. But uh, it was an entertaining show, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I hope all you guys watching enjoyed it too. But uh, from the MMA Crypt Quiz, uh, Cryptors, uh, thank you all for watching and uh, until next time. There will be a few shows as well uh, coming up. I'm lucky to get about three out actually in the next week or two. Three, three quiz shows. Keep it out for them guys. And uh, again, thank you for watching Cryptors.